my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan, and today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public, so please subscribe to our channel. A very, very popular subject in the family courts is parental alienation. The concept of parental alienation basically is that one parent is seeking to diminish the status of the other parent in the eyes of the kids. So the whole goal is it's, it's really insidious. The idea being that, well, we'd have a better house, but your father's not paying me any child support parental alienation. You know, we we can't go to, you know, a Cedar Point this weekend because your mom is making me pay for her, you know, beauty salon, parental alienation. Any effort made to involve the children in your dispute with the other parent in a negative way designed to create a bad impression in their heads, that's parental alienation. Now, I've seen it in very subtle ways and I've seen it in obvious ways. I mean, obvious ways are one parent telling the other parent, you know, your dad's a drug addict, your mom's a, a whore, you, you, you know, your, your dad is a fraud, you, you know, your mom's a scamster. But those are clear ways to diminish the view of the parent in the eyes of the children. That's clear parental alienation. But a little more subtle is, is like we were saying before, oh, you know what? We're going to try and go to Cedar Point next week because this week I've got, you know, the big child support that mommy makes me pay. i got to pay that. That's also a form of parental alienation. You should not be involving the children in your problems. You should be able to say, you know what, we, we got this set up not for this week but for next week. And that's it. You don't have to hook in what the other parent is doing. The court ordered you to pay child support. That's You can blame that on the judge if you want to. But you should not be criticizing dad. You should not be criticizing mom. And and there's uh, there's other ways where you can marginalize the spouse. You can, you can say to your kid, oh, I wish you could come with me and the new the half brother this week because we're going to Kalahari, but oh, sorry, you're going to be with dad this week. So I'm sure you're going to have a great time there too. That is also an undermining effort to insidiously create a situation where you're alienating the other parent. That is what that is. And the, what should happen in that case is that the court should be notified by motion. The other attorney should file a motion saying, this is exactly what they said, this is what happened, and in the beginning, the court will probably just admonish the other parents not to do it. But as more and more incidents come up, the court could very well look at this and hold somebody in contempt. It could change uh, parenting time and custody. The court could do all sorts of things. So I think it's important if you know that that's going on to get ahead of it, and, and that is really uh, the best way to do that is to get it before the judge. Go before the court, tell the court what's going on, and give the judge a chance to give some remedies that might overall help your situation. If you have any questions about that, reach out, and we'll be glad to help you out.